Welcome to Aisha's IS Institute. In this video, we will discuss the Nobel Prize for 2019, the Nobel Prize for Physics, which have been announced. So, the Nobel Prize in Physics 2019 has been awarded to three researchers. One is James Pebble for theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology and Michelle Mayer and Didier Quellos for discovery of an exoplanet orbiting a solar type star. So, it is for space technology that Nobel Prize in Physics has been awarded this year. So, this is the further detail being given, you can see here. So, they have won the Nobel Prize, all three, for their work on the evolution of the universe and discovery of a distant planet. So, you can see Nobel Prizes have been awarded, as we know, since 1901. So, there have been three women who have been awarded Nobel Prize in Physics. Marie Curie was included in 1903. The youngest Nobel laureate in physics is Lawrence Bragg in 1915. He was awarded the Nobel Prize at the age of 25. And there's only one double winner in Nobel Prize in Medicine, that is John Barden. He was awarded twice in 1956 and 1972 as well. We're not going into the details why they were awarded, but we'll look into the details of the Nobel Prize in Physics 2019. So this was awarded to James Peebles for his theoretical discoveries in physical cosmology and to the other two researchers for discovering an exoplanet orbiting the a solar type star. So regarding James Peebles theory, you can see he developed a theoretical framework which forms the foundation of our understanding the universe's, the universe's history. He predicted the existence of cosmic background radiation and theorized that dark matter and dark energy make up 95% of the mass of the universe. So we have discussed this and we have seen this uh, you know, quite often when we study about space technology and space uh, related aspects. So this has been put forth by him, Mr. James Peebles. So it was the Big Bang Theory because of which you can see cosmic rays started you know, uh, been, uh, you know, spreading and they are, are still moving. And you can see that out of this, the normal matter which we know is 5%. Remaining 26% is dark matter and 69% is dark energy. So, what is this also dark matter and dark energy and what do they do? We we'll see that too. So, here, but before that, we'll also see about the other discovery. So, regarding the exoplanet being discovered. So, the two researchers, they discovered the first exoplanet orbiting a sun-like star. So, this exoplanet was a Jupiter-sized planet. And it was uh, um, discovered by observing light from the star it was orbiting. So, they discovered it through this process, you can see. So, this is from where we are observing. This is a sun-like star, you can see. And this is the exoplanet, a Jupiter-like, Jupiter-sized exoplanet. So, as the planet orbits the star, the star wobbles due to the planet's gravitational pull. So, this wobbling slightly alters the wavelength of the star's light. So, this is seen as shifting in color. So, by measuring the changes in wavelength, an estimate of the orbiting planet's minimum mass can be made. And that is how they discovered this exoplanet for which they have been presently given the Nobel Prize. So you can see when it is moving away, the wavelength is elongated. And when it's moving towards the uh, star, then the wavelength is compressed. So that is the gravitational you know, pull which is causing this wobbling and this change in wavelength. And because of this, we, can dis we have discovered this exoplanet. So, this research is important, both the researches regarding understanding the evolution of the universe and the discovery of exoplanets. So, post this, thousands more exoplanets have been discovered and uh, it is possible that some of these may be harboring life as such too. So, the research is of course important about understanding the universe and what we don't know about the universe too, about these exoplanets. So, looking at a little more detail about this, you can see the both uh, of both the discoveries as such they are showing us the wonder of the evolution of the universe as such so universe as the big bang theory says it uh, it was hot and dense and then about 14 billion years ago there was this big bang and the universe started started expanding and cooling now and you can see it was 4 lakh years later that the first rays of light traveled through space and these rays are still present in the cosmos and they are omnipresent they will always be there so that's the big bang theory these rays are still moving and will always be there so this is the big bang theory so people he interpreted these first rays and showed that in the universe just five percent is known matter the rest is unknown dark matter and dark energy what's the difference between dark matter and dark energy is also detailed out there that's very important so here you can see so basically mr people's work james people's work turned 
cosmology from speculation to science sparking further research so you should know the dark matter is the force which holds together galaxies which otherwise may get torn apart so that is called the dark matter and dark energy helps the universe's increasingly rapid and constant expansion so it is because of this dark energy that the universe is expanding it says one is pulling and other is pushing so that is the dark energy and dark matter keeps that holds galaxies together because there are different galaxies within the galaxy there are various planets various stars as such so each galaxy like the galaxy in which we are is the milky way galaxy so holding together galaxies is what the dark matter does then here you can see further detail being given about the exoplanet being discovered so this exoplanet discovered has been named 51 pegasi b it was first ever find of an exoplanet orbiting a solar type star and surprising that the planet was big as big as jupiter that is 1300 times earth's volume but it was very close to its star it it takes just 4 days to orbit its star so this big planets were thought to be created far from their stars like you know, jupiter but this 51 pegasi b is so close so the questions were raised because of this uh, discovery led to theories and they described how large gas balls formed at the edges of solar system spiral inwards So it resulted in further research to so understanding our universe is why the Nobel Prize has been given for 2019 in physics. So that is it. Thank you.